Hey, how's it going, everyone? So, figured I might, might as well go outside today. It's a beautiful summer day in the state of Maryland. Um, it's a bit hot, but, you know, it's all good. So, uh, two things before I start talking about U.S. Um, first of all, got another soccer fan on here. Um, the name's is G-Man 101. He's a New York Giants fan. He's, you know, relatively well known in the trash talking circle for football. I'm going to put his video in the description. Um, I know I don't really have any subscribers, but if you do watch this video, go check him out. He's a good USA fan. Watch his videos and subscribe. Um, also, the New Zealand game just finished. New Zealand tied Italy 1-1. One one. Uh, don't know, I mean, don't know what to say about Italy, but New Zealand, two great, great ties. Tying two games, not necessarily always a good or a bad thing, but in this case, definitely good. New Zealand with two points. Um, let's see, U.S. game. I was not able to watch it. Sorely disappointed by that. Um, also, fairly disappointed by the result. Although, in the group stage, we're not looking so bad. So, on to the game. New, uh, New Zealand. Slovenia got the first two goals, both in the first half. Now, I did watch the replay, the replays of the goals, so I at least a little bit know how they scored. Um, First three minutes in the second half, Donovan, um, he got loose. The defender missed the ball, and Donovan basically went on the sideline, kept on going towards goal, and basically was daring the goalie to come out. And then final, final few seconds, he was saying, you know, I dare you. You will not save this shot. Blast it right in front of his face. <laughs> goalie didn't even go for it because it was a rocket and just kills it into the net. Um, great goal from Donovan. Later on, uh, I think it was Altador off a cross from Donovan, headed it to Michael Bradley, and Bradley with a great finesse finish. Um, it was not an easy shot, and he did great with it. Now on to the controversy. I did see the replay of the goal. And just like many of you and probably the rest of the world, I could not find one thing wrong with it. Got some bees over here. Um, it looked like maybe Michael Bradley was off sides, but that really... Uh, no. Um... So yeah, that was very disappointing. Uh, uh, should have won that game. But we're still, as I said earlier, in the group standings. We are not doing that bad. Since England tied Algeria. As a U.S. fan, I'm fine with these two points right now. We're actually second above England. Um... If I was an English fan, I would be pretty pissed off about now. England, they have, um, I think, uh, I think they only have one, one goal and one goal against. So U.S. is ahead of them. The goal differential is the same, but after goal differential, it goes by goals, total goals scored. So right now, U.S. has the lead in that over England. It's very simple. U.S. beats Algeria, and we move on. Doesn't matter what happens in the England-Slovenia game. Doesn't matter. We beat Algeria, we move on. If we lose to Algeria, then um, it doesn't matter what happens. We automatically are out. So win, move on, lose, out. Now, there are a few situations with getting a tie. 
if we get a tie and England wins, then England and Slovenia move on. If we get a tie and then Slovenia wins, then we move on. If we get a tie and Slovenia and England tie, we move on if we are still beating England in the goal differential. So lots of situations. I'd say probably leaning towards our way since we are facing Algeria, probably the weakest team in the group. Although they tied England, anything can happen. Um, so yeah, that game will be coming up in a few days. Later on today, Brazil versus Ivory Coast should be a great match. I think Drogba is going to play. So it should be good to see the powerhouses of Brazil go against Drogba. Um, yep, no, no uh, other news really to report. Um, I guess I'll cut this video off before it gets too long. So, until next time, go USA.